just sort of fascinated with is you have to play new venues every night and mm -hmm. you get there I mean you're not doing a sound check tonight right um, you just you got there and you're like okay it's a garage we'll play here or whatever yeah. right? so how do you deal with I guess could you describe maybe one of the best acoustic situations you've had and then one of where you walked in you're like I have no idea how we're gonna play with this yeah this is stripped down obviously so it's I mean you know immediately like you set up and and just the amp could sound terrible or it could sound great mm -hmm. It's very weird. Like it could be, you could be using the same amp in a different room, and it could sound like an entirely different amp. So, like, can you can you tell by now? Like, you can walk in and say, "Okay, this is going to be a great room," or "This is not going to be a great room." Um, I can usually, if it's not going to be a great room, I can sometimes tell. But sometimes I I don't know if it's going to be good until I actually play. I tend to like smaller rooms. Like if it's a huge open mm -hmm. space that doesn't have much sound, you know, sound barriers or I don't know I, I don't really understand that much about you know acoustics in the space but you if it's a big room I feel like a lot of times it gets lost mm -hmm. and I also really don't like reverb but on myself I don't like playing with reverb I like it to be really um what's the word I'm looking for what's the opposite of reverb <laughs> non-reverb yeah no I just I really like to have like a um dry sound yeah. dry is probably the right word so I, I kind of like rooms that give me more of a dry sound. I don't like it when the sound is just getting lost in, mm -hmm. in a room or if it sounds too oh, echoey. Yeah, I don't like that. So, But then sometimes the amps will sound just randomly terrible or sometimes amps will feed back, especially with my other guitar. Like in certain rooms, the amp will feed back more. In certain rooms, it won't. Kind of, and it's really hard to predict. What kind of amp do you use? Um, I have a Fender Deluxe 85, which is just like a, it's actually not that good. I actually really want to get a new amp. It's not that great of an amp, but um, I can't afford it right now. But I want to get a Fender tube amp, like a Fender uh, Deluxe Reverb. Like tube I really like tube amps, Fender tube amps. I think that's what I would get. Yeah. What, what is it? I mean, this is kind of obvious. What, what is it about tube amps that you really like? It's just a nice, it's like a warm sound. Mm -hmm. I like the sound that they get. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of hard to hard to explain. I do have, I'm playing out of one tonight, it's not mine. I do have one that, because, you know, playing a lot of gigs in New York City and I don't want to pay for the car services, so I have this little amp. It's a Matrix and it's, it weighs about three pounds and it's about this big and I can carry it on the subway and it actually sounds good. A Matrix? Yeah, is it's it, a tiny little is amp. Is it a manufacturer? Or? Yeah, it's a, that's the company. It's called, or maybe, I don't know, yeah, it's just called Matrix, that's all it says. Someone gave it to me, I don't even know where it's from. But it sounds really good and I mean, it, you know, it doesn't sound really good, but my guitar, for my Guild, it's, it almost doesn't matter what amp I play because it's, it has such an acoustic sound and it's so loud that the, all the amp is doing is really like turning up the volume a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, especially if I'm doing like a sort of quiet improv thing, the amp matters mm -hmm. much less. So I can kind of play out of any amp, like I'm not too picky about it. So, the, the Matrix. <laughs> like, I don't know, how, what is, how big is the, how big is the speaker on that? Like, is it's it... It's tiny, I mean, it's... You know, probably like that big. It's like, and does it have it's tiny like a bunch of different settings and stuff, or is it just sort of an in and out in the volume? Um, it's it's uh, it has an in, it has treble, bass, mm -hmm. and volume. I think. Pretty much, that's it. And there's another amp. There's this club called Barbez that I play mm -hmm. in in Brooklyn sometimes, and they have an amp there that I use when I play there. Mm -hmm. And it's oh, it's a Valve Junior. Okay. You can get this amp for a hundred dollars. I was actually thinking about getting one, although I haven't. But it has one knob, <laughs> and it sounds amazing. I like it's as if there were ten knobs. It would be exactly how I would have turned those knobs, but it's just a volume knob, and it sounds great. Okay, I think I've heard that before. And it's a small little amp. I really like that amp too. I mean, that's something I, I might get, you know, to carry around, because the Fender tube amps are kind of heavy. I mean, I, ideally, I would like to play one of those, but if I'm lugging things around in the subway, I can't yeah, be that picky. Yeah, like a yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Or they put wheels on them or something. Yeah, that would be, that's a good idea actually. They should put wheels on amps like that. They should put wheels on amps like that. Yeah. They should write them intelligently. I'm yeah. kind of surprised that they haven't done that. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not too picky about amps in general, especially for that guitar. If I played this guitar through that little Matrix amp, it wouldn't sound as good. Something about my guild, it's just such a nice guitar that the amp matters less, if that mm -hmm. makes any sense. Or that's what I've noticed. So the Epiphone matters more what kind of guitar? I think so. I think the amp matters more because it's not as, as much of an acoustic sounding guitar. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't get as much of the acoustic sound of the guitar mm -hmm. when it's amplified. Okay. You know what I mean? I think, yeah, so the, the, the amp you're playing with tonight again is a... It's like a Fender uh, reverb or something, tube amp. Okay, so that'll be, give it a more warm sound. Yeah, so exactly. Like